Hello friends. Today we'll start with income from salary head. It's a very easy head. Let's start with it. First, I would like to draw a format. Format for computation of total salary. Which all things are included in salary are given over in this format. Particulars, rupees. Just wait a second. Basic salary, allowances. Perquisites, bonus, advance, salary, arrear of salary, not taken as loan. I hope this is visible to you all. I'll zoom it little bit more. Arrears of salary, gratuity, pension, leave salary, retrenchment, compensation, voluntary, retirement compensation. will get gross total salary less deduction under section 16 which is entertainment allowances entertainment allowances I'm sorry entertainment allowances professional tax then we'll get net taxable salary I'll make a proper format for you all X X X X X X X X X X X and finally double X X X X and finally double X. Please make this format. Then I'll discuss it with you all. I hope you all have copied this format. What does this format say? See, basic salary means the salary without any anything like bonus, bonus and earnest allowances and all. Basic salary, then allowances. There can there are many types of allowances, dearness allowances, and all. So it is all included in allowances. So all types of allowances, perquisites, bonus, advance salary, which is not taken as loan, will form part of the salary. Arrears of salary, gratuity, pension, leave salary, retrenchment compensation, voluntary retirement compensation, and gross total salary. And we'll get deduction under section 16, entertainment allowances, if we have received and professional tax and net taxable salary. So this is the basic format of computation of the salary this all things will be included in the income statement for computation of the total salary and the tax will be payable thereon
so what so first it is primarily very important for you all to know which all things will be included in the salary many of the time students say gratuity will not form a part of the salary or pension will not form a part of a salary it is a retirement benefit it won't form a part of the salary why it will be part of salary so to give you all a uh like a guide it's a guide to you all that this all things will form part of the salary and you should read it once before going an exam if this is very important many a time student don't read this and go and something like retrenchment compensation receive they put in income from other sources rather putting it in the salary they say retrenchment it might be something related to income from other sources not form not a part of the salary so they put it and the entire sum goes wrong i hope you all have copied this much i hope you all have copied this much if you have not please pause the video and copy we'll start with the main theories now copy so now we'll start with allowances which all allowances are exempt first will be the which all are exempted i'll write exempted allowances are as follows first helper allowances this allowances will not form part of the salary helper allowances uniform allowances third traveling allowances fourth research allowances or personality development allowances personality development allowances fifth daily allowances this all allowances are completely exempt i hope this is clear please don't copy it right now i'll explain you all then only i'll start copying now a new part will start so that's why i've put a arrow and now the new part first transport undertaking allowances transport undertaking allowances 70% of amount received or maximum of rupees 10000 which ever is lower will become will become transport undertaking allowances okay i'll make the arrow also whichever is lower second commutation allowances section 1014 this section is very important there are many sums in which commutation allowances are there so better do this section 1014 normally for normal individual maximum 6000 per month is exempt above about that will be fully taxable excluding the exemption amount normally handicap for handicap individual maximum 3000 per month is exempt 
above that will be fully taxable so what do you understand by this first we'll understand this much then we'll move ahead see exempt allowances means the the employer provides you with the following allowances like helper and like uniform allowances when you enter into a premise like for a job they have a a particular dress code for buying that dress the uniform allowances are provided by the employer to the employee that is the employee is receiving money so on that amount it on that amount that the employer has employee has received from the employer it won't be taxable and such allowances will be exempt so these are all such types of allowances like traveling allowances provided to the employee Uh, the employer has provided employee the allowances for paying the electricity bill the amount uh, that the traveling amount of from for the bus or auto rickshaw to go to a particular office and pay the bill or some something whatever whatever it is delivery or whatever it is uh, the employer has provided traveling allowances to the employer so it is not an income for the empl- employer has provided the traveling allowances to the employee so such in such amount received from the employer to the employee will not be taxable such are exempt personality development research allowances and daily allowances are completely exempt i told here all allowances allowances will be forming part over here but other than this all five allowances anything if it is said that tiffin allowances other than all this five allowances anything related like after tiffin allowances is there then it will be taxable like uh, carriage allowances then carriage allowances will be taxable okay anything other than this five allowances will be completely taxable only you have to remember this five and other all allowances are taxable and there are certain exemptions how to calculate the allowances like traveling uh, transport undertaking allowances 70% of the amount received or maximum of rupees 10000 like and take an example uh transport undertaking allowances is been provided to an employee by an employer say 20000 so 70% comes to 14000 or maximum of 10000 whichever is lower will become transport undertaking allowances are you getting this so 10000 will become will become transport undertaking allowances commutation allowances means 10000 will exempt it won't like I have taken a wrong example. Twenty thousand. I'll take twenty-four thousand into seven into seventy. Sorry, into seventy percent comes to sixteen thousand eight hundred or maximum of rupees ten thousand. But the allowances provided is twenty-four thousand less ten thousand. The amount whichever will come will be exempt. Please write that will be exempt. Will be exempt. Okay. I hope you all have written commutation allowances. please underline commutation allowances section 10 sub section 14 normally for normal individual maximum 16000 per month is exempt about that will be fully taxable uh, take commutation allowances provided to an employee by an employer is rupees 4000 per month 4000 per month into 12 comes to 48000 but exemption will be of amount 48000 let's memory plus it But exemption is allowed up to sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred into twelve comes to nineteen thousand two hundred. Memory minus two thousand eight hundred and to twenty eight thousand eight hundred will be will be taxable allowances. Not sixteen thousand sixteen hundred into twelve will be taxable. Whatever amount we have received will be written like this. Amount received like commutation allowances. Amount forty thousand less exemption under section ten fourteen sixteen hundred into twelve comes to nineteen thousand two hundred. Therefore, two thousand eight twenty eight thousand eight hundred is commutation allowances. Understood. Similarly for handicap also, but handicap has provided with maximum of three thousand per month and normal sixteen hundred per month. Three thousand two hundred per month, sixteen hundred per month. I hope this is quite clear.